Hi, I'm Alexandra Ellis of AE Wellness, and I have the one pec stretch you need to be doing. So what are the pecs? The pectoralis major and minor are these two fan-shaped muscles on the chest, and they're a primary muscle for pushing, whether it be push-ups, chaturangas, if you're trying to shove a couch over the room or trying to flip a tire, uh, your pecs have a lot to do with that. But they also have a lot to do with the passive position of this rounded forward shoulder, which I know we all spend a lot of time in because I do it too. We all do. So people of the world, please hear me. Try this stretch. It's so simple. You don't even need any equipment. So for this pec stretch, you'll need a wall. You could even do this in a dory, but I'm going to show you on a wall because it gives you the best support from fingertips to shoulders. And you'll turn yourself and place your arm on the wall. We'll aim for about a 45 degree angle, but remember it's a fan shaped like muscle. So any height of your hand is going to stretch the entire sheet of the pecs and their fascias in a little bit of a different way. But I'm gonna give you this standard 45 degree angle because it's pretty good here. What you're then gonna try to do is to get the front of your shoulder, so this part of your shoulder as close to the wall as it'll go. And uh, the first time I did this, it was not anywhere near close, and it's been a couple times, and I'm still working on it. So you just try to walk your hand up the wall, try to get your shoulder as close to the wall, and then you also want to relax your shoulder away from your ear. So you're not hiking the shoulder up into your ear, but you're letting it depress. You can use your other hand to stabilize here. Make sure that you breathe. If you are crazy bendy and this is like a cakewalk, you can also try to rotate your ribs away from the wall. Uh, but I think 99.9% .9 of us are going to be just fine right here. So you'll stay here, you'll breathe, spend about 90 seconds to two minutes, and then switch sides. Now, if you have a lot of congestion at the front of the shoulder, go check out one of my videos with a pec um, massage with a therapy ball to free up some of that congestion before trying this. And also, if you do this and your hand goes numb or you feel nerve pain, hot, cold, ice burning, anything like that, come out of it. Try the therapy balls and also try a different height of the hand. So maybe you do a little bit lower as opposed to higher. But I'm fairly confident that if you introduce this stretch into your arsenal, any rotator cuff, shoulder issues you have, um, you'll be able to train better because your shoulders will be on the side of your body where they belong. If you want to learn more about how to maximize your mobility and live pain-free in your body, check out my website at aewellness.com and make sure you subscribe so you get notified when there's new videos and stay tuned right here because there's a lot more stuff coming your way.